See what I mean, though? I'm, uh, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a professional actor, but I... You fooled me! I played a character that didn't require much range, so it was okay. You got scale, though, right? Scale, yes. Scale. <laughs> but I had to pay it back. I had to spend money of my own to get the movie finished, so... That's how independent movies go, as we know. This guy, we didn't start the question and answer. This guy is so eager. He had his hand raised throughout the entire movie, actually. Yes. Um, actually, I want to ask, um, I, I did notice you have a running theme, kind of like uh, Love, Love and Death and Sony, but uh, there's a couple other movie references I've seen in there. Um, how many movies would you say kind of either you reference to or things like that? Because there's a little bit of the Lars of Arabia gag in there. I couldn't, I couldn't count it. I mean, I, you know, all the movies that I like, or don't like somehow find their way into my subconscious or conscious mind when I'm writing. So yeah, there was a Lawrence of Arabia joke, and there's other jokes and other references to movies all over the place. I, I couldn't count, but there's plenty, yeah. Any other questions? Yes. Well, it was shot in Austin, Texas. Brad Austin! Break it out! The reason it was shot in Austin, Texas was because the company that financed it, Burnt Orange, um, was affiliated with the University of Texas in Austin. And they had a program where they would finance real movies for real filmmakers, but you had to come to Austin to shoot them, and then the film students in the film department would get to work on the movies as PAs and interns and things like that. So that's why we shot it in Austin. Um, the reason I chose to play the lead... Good choice. It, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Did you think of anyone else to play the lead? Thank you. No. Um, uh, uh, the reason I chose to play the lead is because Brad Pitt said no. <laughs> and I could not believe that because we offered him thousands of dollars to do it, <laughs> and he wouldn't do it. He didn't even read it. Really, really. I was so humiliated by him passing that I leaped to the bottom of my list, and I cast myself. No, the, re the, re the real story with how I came to be playing the lead in this movie was uh, the producer who I worked with many times, named Brad Wyman, who produced this, and myself were down the road on a different movie, that we had a big star attached to, to star in. And the easiest way for all you budding filmmakers out there to get a movie financed is to have a movie star attached to your project. And then somebody will finance it, no problem. So our movie star uh, fell through, and the movie fell apart. It wasn't this movie. Um, and so Brad said to me, jokingly, uh, you know, if you would just become a movie star, we could attach you to all our movies, it would be a lot easier to get movies made. <laughs> so I said, don't tempt me, Brad, because I'll write a movie for myself to star in, but you have to find the money to get it made if I do. Uh, and he said, of course I will, I'll find the money somewhere. So I went home and I wrote this. I, I, the reason I wrote a caveman movie for myself is because I figured it would be a really, really cheap movie to make. I was saying this earlier when we did the other interview. Um, I thought, you know, it was outside and it was just some, you know, wine claws and I thought it would be really cheap. I subsequently found that to not be the case. Uh, but um, I wrote the script, you know, inspired by, obviously, Woody allen the kind of movies and stuff. Uh, and I gave it to him and I said, okay, I've written the movie for me to star in. Now you have to find the money to get it made. And he laughed in my face. And he said, who's gonna finance a movie starring you? Uh, luckily at that time we were in pre-production on a different movie called Look that I made, that uh, is a drama that actually came out last year. Which we also have copies of for everyone in the audience. Woo! So uh, while we were shooting Look, Brad had sent the script to this company, Burnt Orange. The only place he had sent it to, and bizarrely, they agreed to finance it. Uh, but the the caveat was you had to agree to it today. You had to say yes today because their affiliation with the university made them, uh, uh, they, they, it was, it was uh, very dependent on the semester schedule. So if they didn't green light our movie that day, they were gonna green light one of the other movies they had in line to green light. So I looked at Brad and I said, well, if they're willing to finance it and they're gonna let me star in it, having never even met me, why not 
Why not? We'll give it a try. So as soon as we finished shooting Look, we jumped on a plane to Austin, and we shot Homo erectus, and then we did Post on both back in LA simultaneously. Yeah. Woo!